So Matthew Clejan, congratulations Thank you, Charles. for taking one of the animals of the African bush. I mean, if not the animal, the grey ghost. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, I mean, you have a whole story and I don't think we have enough light to play it. <laughs> but why don't you just give us like a two minute rundown of how this thing went down and the build up to this and all that. I tell you, it's been a long week. As you know, you've been there with me and, and helping us on this week. Uh, but you know, this started a few days ago when I had an opportunity to shoot something similar, and I uh, thought we had a good shot on it. We thought we knew we didn't have time. We put the put the round out there, and uh, we tracked it for six, seven hours with the entire team, and uh, weren't able to find uh, the animal. And and uh, it was really a letdown. It, uh, as you know, you know, uh, it takes a little while to get back from that. And I made a decision that night to uh, not let it affect the rest of my week. And, but before uh, you made that decision, let me just for the record. Yeah. The guy was close to tears, man. It was. It was just very difficult. It was difficult, extremely emotional. Very difficult. Yeah. Very difficult. You know, we, everybody out here is working so hard, and uh, you know, that's not what you want to have happen yeah. in the woods. So. But yet you tried very hard. I mean, you were on the track on foot, and the track is dried, walking in this Kalahari sand. <sighs> And then the next morning got back on the track for I don't know how many hours, maybe continue from there. Yeah, next morning I uh, went out with Harvey and, and uh, we, we, we came out in the lion country and, and uh, we worked our tails off with some cold and some sweat and uh, we were able to have some success that day and then we had some success again today. And then this is just beyond description, beyond words um, to have an opportunity here to uh, get, get the call this late with almost no So hold light. on, hold on, before you talk about this guy. Let's just tell us quickly about some of the other great uh, animals you've taken. Maybe just a quick one minute. Sure, sure. Well, on day one, we had uh, the, uh, some of the guys out here with us had tremendous success with the lions. Um, they stalked, they, they used their bows. It was incredible to see that, that um, occur. Uh, might be something I, I look at doing it at some point down the road. But um, we moved on from that, and, uh, and I was able to get on a, a black wildebeest. It was just a mean looking, unbelievable animal up close that, that uh, the team worked hard to get me on. And uh, we took a shot and uh, we didn't have to go far to put that in the truck. So that was a exceptional, exceptional experience. And we moved on uh, and had a shot at a zebra, as I'm learning to say it, and maybe I'll share that with my kids that uh, now they will be called zebras. <laughs> and uh, we're going to put that rug in the jam room and have uh, some great music being played behind uh, that rug as, as the foreground for, for uh, some good tunes to come. And so. then you work hard. You did walk and stalking. I mean, you, and you got your first animal in Africa, walk, like pure walking and stalking, getting up blind in the bush, just getting on tr some tracks. Tell us about that. Uh, incredible. I mean, to be in the hands of the people out here guiding us is, is really a special thing from, from the pHs to the trackers to see how they work to see what they're looking for. And, and frankly, I, I'm not even sure what the trackers are looking for, but they're magic in the woods. So uh, we, we came upon a uh, springbok that I've gained a lot of respect for this week. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was an opportunity I didn't want to pass up and uh, we didn't. So we moved on from there, stepped over a few lion tracks this morning and uh, moved on to today. Okay, and then today you got another animal real quick. We did, we did. Uh, I had an incredible Jensvok, uh, old mature bull that uh, is going to look really good next to this oh, guy on oh. the wall. So uh, I, I'm afraid that we're going to be keeping the taxidermist uh, busy in, in South Georgia and uh, I'm really grateful that we're going to be able to do that. Okay, and then you, you were done hunting. Done. You, we wanted to go out this afternoon and you let us know you're done hunting, you've got your trophies. Yeah. And then and then you got a call. What happened? Got a call. Um, you know, at we, the lodge, one whiskey later. At the lodge, I was I was I was cleaned up as much as I can clean up. But uh, I was cleaned up, and uh, we got the call from you, saying, "Hey, I think we've had our, we have an opportunity here. Just get out here." And we did, and we came out here, and uh, we took advantage of it. Obviously, there's not a lot of light left. Um, you guided me to another great shot. I think you're uh, I think you're batting a thousand for pHing so far. Is, is, that, is that correct? <laughs> so um, I'm grateful that uh, that we're able to keep that run going. I and, was uh, scoring towards you, and you I mean you just placed the most perfect shot. I mean it's like a third of the body up right inside that leg that was scoring towards you. I mean how far did it go? I mean. Um, 60 yards maybe yeah 50 60 yards when we got to it it was dead right here i mean and yeah. what an incredible beast look at these ivory tips incredible i mean it's just look at these calls on the horns it's just a perfect trophy and i i hope this this uh um this guy will keep uh 
will keep you will keep you happy and smiling about this trip every time you see it. Absolutely, and it's, take you into uh, you know old age. You know, will. I tell you, this dreaming is dreaming uh, about Africa. It's been an honor to be here and to meet all these wonderful people, and and uh, thank you. And to me, it's been such an honor to 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 share it with you, and uh, be with you in Africa. Hopefully, it's the first of many. Yep. And we'll meet in the African bush as uh, friends next time. And congratulations. Thank what you, an Charles. incredible honor to be here with you at such a beautiful, beautiful kudu. Thank you. Well done, man. Cheers. opened up my eyes and I don't want to leave your side for that lonesome road but here I go climbing back behind the wheel 50 feet of chrome and steel and load they need in Chicago Through the middle of the night unknown I'm on a ride that won't let me go I'm a Nashville cowboy Born to run underneath the stars Pay no mind to my lonely heart Just ride